Hi, I'm contractor Steve Roth. We're here today to take a look at a major remodel. This home is over 100 years old, so you can imagine it needs a lot of updating. And part of that updating we want to do is a nice patio door off of this deck area. It's going to have some problems that we've got to face, but we're going to take a look at it head on. So let's go on inside and get started. Well, now we're inside the home, and this isn't your typical looking home. This has been totally gutted, is what I call it, but we removed the plaster lath and the old plaster. So now we can really see what we got to work with. The first thing you're going to notice is the old framing members. This is the old native wood that's over 100 years old, and this is still in great condition, it's still very structural. But along with that, we have to incorporate new framing members that allow for the new patio door. Take a look at what I have going on up top. I put a temporary shore in place to support that overhead structure. Then I could incorporate a header, which will replace what we have going on there down to the studs. And then a couple of side studs here, new framing members. That's going to create our new rough opening for the patio door. The actual width is about 3 quarter inch wider than what we need to be and a half inch taller. So that will allow us to get that door in there and do little adjustments that really tweak in and get that door perfect. Let's take a look down here at the bottom sill. We've incorporated a PVC material by Fipon that's weatherproof. But underneath that, this is not structural, this is just a weather weatherproof member, is some actual treated lumber. But between the two, we've put in a, a caulking in there to make sure that's as weatherproof as it can be. But if you take a look at our level, we're very level across here, and also we're very plumb, so this is going to make it easier when we start the install. Also, we've checked with a framing square in the corners to make, the, make sure that is square as well. So all in all, we spent a lot of time prepping out this rough opening that's going to save us time in the long run to make that door install easier. Next move I need to make is I'm going to take out the old window that we will remove, and then I'm going to cut away this area. That's going to create the rough opening. Now we have the window removed. Next move is to take and cut the sidewall opening out with the sawzall. Well now we got our rough opening cut out. Our next move is to actually install the door. 